In this video, we will use the ideal gas equation of state to estimate molar volume. Using ideal gas equation of state to estimate the molar volume in liters per mole and the density of air in kilograms per meter cubed at 60 degrees Celsius with a gauge pressure of five atmospheres. So we wanna find two things. We wanna find the molar volume in liters per mole and we also want to find the density of air in kilograms per meter cubed. So the thing, the, the two pieces of information that they gave us is temperature and gauge pressure. So temperature is 60 degrees Celsius. And whenever we're dealing with these types of problems, it's a good idea to convert this into Kelvin. So we add 273.15 and this would give us 333.15 uh, Kelvin. Next, we have a gauge pressure. So pressure is equal to gauge pressure plus atmospheric pressure. The atmospheric pressure is typically one. So we would get five ATMs, which is given, plus one atmosphere. And so we would get six ATMs. And now we have the formula that P V is equal to NRT. Molar volume is essentially V over N. So we could say that P times V molar is equal to RT. We wanna find V molar, which is V over N. So V molar is equal to RT divided by P. And so we would get, so R is 0 0.08206 L ATM uh, K mole, just a constant, times, times temperature, which is 333.15 Kelvins. We will divide by pressure, which we said was six ATMs. And let's check, ATM cancels, Kelvin cancel, and we have liters per mole which is what we want, molar volume. This right here would give us 4.556 liters per mole. This right here is the first answer. Next, we will calculate the density of air in kilograms per meter cubed. So we will get density. Using this piece of information, we could say that one mole of air divided by 4.5 five five six liters this is saying we have four point five five six liters per mole of air so we could say we have one mole of air per four point five five six liters the unit for this would be moles over liters this will help us to get density so we know that one mole of air is 29 grams of air which is the molecular weight for air and we know that a thousand grams is one kilogram. And we also know that 1,000 liter is equal to one meter cubed. Let's check, liters cancel, uh, moles cancel, grams cancel, and we, we're left off with kilograms per meter cubed. This right here would give us 6.365 kilograms per meter cubed. This right here is the second answer. And that's all we need to do for these two problems.